If you wanted to find the finest array of sporting machinery that has ever gathered together for one event, there is only one possible place on earth to look. Every year, in the rural countryside of southeast England, the most extraordinary event in the motoring calendar takes place. But this is Goodwood House, host to the Goodwood Festival of Speed and the 70,000 people that will flock here to see the hill climb through its grounds. It's a real family event and by no means restricted to speed fanatics alone. The greatest names in motoring are here too, from Sterling Moss and Dennis Jenkinson to the American ace Dan Gurney and British sports car racer Derek Bell. Other familiar faces abound too. With 150 unsilenced exhausts, it's good to come prepared. This Saturday morning, we've got two days of the fastest cars from the turn of the century to today, from Formula One cars to old cars to supercars to cars like this Porsche 550 Spider. It's going to be an absolutely fabulous event. I'm driving this car. I'm also driving a Porsche 911 Turbo. It's going to be wonderful. The course is very tricky, uh, it's quite slippery, it's very tight, there's a lot of room to make mistakes, but uh, it's not my car, and I'm going to be going quite carefully. A lot of people ask me why I don't drive the car myself, but having went through a year when I hurt myself on a motorbike and I couldn't drive, I lent the car to someone and I found I was just as happy watching uh, from the sidelines and actually not getting nearly so nervous about the whole racing procedure, so I, I now find I'm just as happy for anyone else to drive it. And Andrew Frankel, the, the professional driver, so only you, you know he's in good hands. So it's time to leave the safety of the paddock and head out to the start line at the beginning of the hill. There he is. The course itself is just over a mile or 1.6 kilometers long and is very, very fast and unforgiving. Mistakes are punished if you're lucky with a slow time. If you're not, it might be a trip into the hay bales. It's unlike a racing circuit because A, it's too narrow. Um, there are no curbs, and so therefore, on a racing circuit, you can at least feel when the cars get into the edge of the circuit. Here you can't because if you go on the grass, you're in real trouble. The lights are green. It's time to go. On the other side of the house, another display was grabbing people's attention. Goodwood is so much more than just fast racing cars. There are some fantastic road cars here, the finest supercars in the world. This is the new TVR Cerbero. It's got 350 horsepower. It'll do 170 miles an hour. This, the Porsche 911 GT2, is a, simply a road-going version of a Le Mans car. Fantastically involving to drive, a really, really fine motor car. This is an incredibly rare bird. It's the Mercedes C111. It's a prototype that never went into production. I think they only made six, um, but it's extraordinary to see it here. And this is the fascinating looking Lister Storm. At Goodwood, as you can see, it really is all here. The nine pounds ahead, you can have a wonderful day here. Um, there's so much to see, motorbikes, cars, uh, everything for the family. You can bring your picnic here, have a wonderful day here. It's a marvelous day. Good old memories back, and we hope to be back next year. Well, there's something for everybody. There's something for the old, the young, and anyone in the middle, like me. What does this all add up to? If you like motor racing, or just a marvelous weekend away, it's simply the greatest show on earth.